Hey, this is Leighton Taylor with ecommercepulse.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through how to add product or how to add tabs to a product description in Shopify. And as an example, a demo of what this is going to look like, you can see these tabs here, which when you click, they show you uh, different sections of the content. This is very useful if your product has a lot of content in it and you need to break it up with tabs. Um, so I'm going to refer to the steps in the written version of this tutorial. If you are watching this video on YouTube or another site, you can access the written version of this tutorial at ecommercepulse.com slash product tabs. No spaces, no dashes, just ecommercepulse.com slash product tabs. All right, let's get started. So the fir first thing we need to do is step number one, <clears throat> uh, create a duplicate of your theme as a backup. I always recommend doing this. I do it myself when I'm working on my client sites or my own websites. Um, sometimes I'll make a mistake in the code and it'll break the layout of the site. And then I have to spend a lot of time going back and trying to find the error. So it's much easier to just create a backup at the beginning and then you can always revert to it if you need to. So to create a backup of your theme, from your Shopify dashboard, go to themes and then under the theme that you want to work on, click duplicate. And here you can see it's working on creating a duplicate. And once that's done, we can go ahead and get started with editing. Um, let's go to step two. Check to see if your theme already has jQuery and jQuery UI. Um, and we're basically looking for two lines of code in our theme. And for the product tabs to work, um, our theme needs to have both of those lines of code. If it only has one, that's fine. We just need to add the other one or if it has neither, then we'll add both of them. Most themes will already have jQuery, and many themes will already have jQuery UI. So let's just check and see. Um, I'm using the Radiance theme here, um, and this, what you, the way that you uh, edit this code might vary depending on which theme you're using. I'll try to make this as applicable as I can to any theme, but if you have any problems, feel free to just leave a comment um, uh, in the post below this video and let me know what happened and I'll do my best to help you. So we'll go to the template editor and then to the theme.liquid file here. And we're looking in between this opening head tag and the closing head tag at the bottom. Somewhere in between those two, we need to find we need to find out if our theme already is uh, using jQuery and jQuery UI. Uh, if you look at the written version of the post here, it gives us um, two examples of things to look for. Uh, this one is what the jQuery code would look like, something like this, maybe not exactly. And then um, here's another possibility of what it might look like. And then this down here is what the jQuery UI code might look like. So let's look and see if any of those are present in the Radiance theme. All right, I don't see um, jQuery UI, but right here I do see that we already have jQuery. So all we need to do is add um, jQuery UI since we need both of those. So from here, um, right here, right before step three in the tutorial, uh, these two lines of code show you what you need for jQuery and jQuery UI. Um, we only need UI because we already have the first part. So I'll grab that line and I'll copy it and then I'll paste it. Um, I usually just go to the bottom right before this closing head tag and I'll paste it right there. That just makes it easier to find and easier to stay organized. Alright, so let's go ahead and save and go on to the next step, step three. Add a little bit more code. Um, so regardless of what we did in step number two, whether we had to add only the jQuery UI or both um, both of them, we need to do we need to add this code right here. So I'm going to select it, copy and paste. And again, this is going directly before the closing head tag. So I'll put it right here. And I usually just tab in just to stay a little better organized, but that's up to you. And we'll go ahead and save. And then number four, add this code to the individual product. 
So note that we are not, this next step here, we're not adding this code to this theme.liquid, we're not adding it to product.liquid, none of that because that would affect the entire theme. We only want to deal with an individual product. So to do that, we'll go to our products tab here, open a product, and then I'm going to grab this code and I'm going to paste it. However, before I paste it, I need to make sure that I'm working in the HTML editor by clicking this button here. All right. Now, um, this code is fairly simple to work with. Basically, you'll just replace um, each of these uh, titles here with what you want to be the label on that tab. And then down here where it says insert tab one content and tab two content and tab three content, that's where you'll put what you want to go inside of those tabs. So that's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's go ahead and click save though before we do that and we'll just make sure that these tabs are working correctly. So here's the product on the front end of my site. I'm going to hit refresh and we'll see how that looks. All right, so as you can see, uh, these tabs worked. They're working properly. And now I just need to put some content in there. So first of all, I'm going to change these titles. Um, the first one, I'm going to make the description. Second one, um, let's just make this instructions. And then for the third one, let's put in a video of our product. So then um, underneath tab one here, I'm going to put in whatever I want in the content. And uh, I, I often go to lipsum.com and just grab some dummy content. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to grab this paragraph and just paste it in here. And then for my second paragraph, for my second tab, excuse me, um, I'm just going to say something simple. Be careful and have fun. All right, now you'll notice that I'm editing these tabs from within the HTML editor. I can switch back to the regular editor and I can edit things, um, I can edit the content here. It's, uh, it's a little dangerous to do that because sometimes when you edit here, Shopify will guess at what you want it to do and it'll put in some unnecessary code and it'll actually break the tabs. So if that happens, then just switch back to the HTML editor and uh, edit it here. All right, so in the third tab, just as an example, I'm going to put a video. And to do that, I'm just gonna grab, I found this uh, YouTube video and I'm just gonna throw that in there. So YouTube provides some embed code here, and I'm just going to grab that, copy it, and uh, paste it into my tab right there. Now I don't want it to actually be 560 pixels wide. That would be too wide for the layout of my page. So I'm just going to change that to 100%, so it'll, autom it'll automatically fill in the width. And we'll hit save and see how that looks. Okay, so here we have our description, our instructions, and our video. So there you go. That's how to add tabs to a product page. I hope that was helpful for you. And again, I would be more than happy to answer any questions if you have problems with this. So please feel free to leave a comment below. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube or another site, you can access the written version of this tutorial at ecommercepulse.com slash product tabs. Thanks, and I'll see you again soon.